Hello, this is Cooper coming at you with another League of Legends casty thingy. I don't know. Uh, this time we will be fighting it out on Twisted Tree Line, and uh, we will be following the purple team specifically, uh, which will consist of Corky, Vladimir, and a Leona. And we will be facing a Gangplank, Ramus, and a Kali. An Armadillo, a Pirate, and a Ninja. Versus a... I don't know what Corky is. A Vampire, and... Some Chicken Armor. Um, this, this seems like fairly, uh, fairly even team comps. I mean, each team has the AD carry, AP carry, and a tank. A dedicated tank, so... Uh, We'll just have to see how this one goes. Uh, looks like uh, right away, already rushing towards the mi bottom bush in the middle. A uh, very common for Twisted Tree Line. It's it's a very common strategy that's used for those of you who don't play Twisted Tree Line. It's it's a little more it's a little different than Summoner's Rift uh, in the fact that well it's a lot more you know it's a lot more focused team play and a lot it's a lot more precision. Looks like. Vladimir headed towards top and it's going to delay them getting to the bush. The enemy team might already be there. So they're going to looks like they're going to face check it. Oh, and the enemy team's already there. Leona getting hit with an exhaust and everything and Leona's going to go down as first blood. Looks like everyone else is going to make it away alive though. Ram is popping heal there just to make sure. And uh, even in chat you can see Leona says ouch cuz that hurt. Dying tends to hurt. So, already first minute of the game, down to 0-1 for the purple team. Looks like Vladimir will be soloing top lane, and bottom lane will be Corky and Leona. Let's let us. <laughs> now we just gotta wait and see where Blue places their Minions people. Has Still no vision, so. As far as we know, they could be setting up for another gank. Bottom lane, very, very weary again. They don't want to have to walk into that bush again and, you know, have to get jumped. Uh, Vladimir starting with an uh, amplifying tomb and a health pot. Uh, Leona, regrowth pendant, really standard. And Corky, Doran's blade, very standard item openings for those kind of characters. It looks like they were in the bush. However, it will not be a big big engagement this time, just some poking and prodding and a premature exhaust. Looks like Ramus took a Doran shield, Akali took a Doran's blade and some boots. Probably uh, probably for scoring that kill on Leona, gave her the extra gold so she could buy boots right off the bat, which is a very, very good, very good start to have some nice early game damage and speed. And uh, Gangplank took a Doran's blade. So here we continue. People just farming, farming up, farm, farm, farming up. Uh, Vladimir top lane takes a level. Not much happening overall right now. But uh, for those of you who've never played Twisted Tree Line, it's uh, it's a little bit different. Summoner's Rift. It has it has a little bit different map uh, map style. There's only two lanes. There's top and bottom, and there's only two towers away in front of your inhibitor tower. Uh, and in front of your inhibitor, and there's only about five towers total on the map, which is which is a big change because there's in Summoner's Rift there's five towers in the base. Looks like Gangplank has gone missing, and as you can see, it's just a short walk down there, and they're way overextended. So Gangplank could be popping out here anytime soon. Uh, he, he could also have just bead for I don't know what reason, but uh, you know, it's a possibility. Looks like both of the both of the bot lane or both all of the bot lane teams looking fairly healthy. And we'll just see how this goes. See if anything happens. See where the where the mystery gangplank is. Could he be pulling a Garen and hiding in one of the bushes, or who knows? So let's let's take a minute and look at the lane compositions for a bit while there's no really action going on. 
As you can see, top is a gangplank against a Vladimir. Vladimir slightly higher leveled because gangplank obviously need or was waiting for a gang for a long time and it just didn't happen. We'll never know. But uh, gangplank obviously a much better early game hero than Vladimir. He's got a lot more sustainability and a lot more damage early game. Looks like Ramus has been taken down, but it's a trade off. I do not believe that Corky will be able to get another kill because without a tank, you know, it's, a call, it's pretty unsafe to engage someone. Such a close bursty dam close bursty damage is when you're just in radi ranged AD carry. Excuse me. Oh, well, Gangplank has gotten the kill on Corky. Uh, Gangplank almost getting taken down himself, but thanks to a scurvy, he secured his. Uh, fate of living and I decide that it's not even worth it to go and try to find the gang so I'm just going to head up top and continue farming and Vlad's going to continue farming top and for some reason the items are just not working today I'll we'll have to see if I can get that fixed by the next task but so more dancing on bottom. I like to call it uh, the laning phase. The, I just like to say it's like a dance because it's just constantly moving. It's just sitting down, you know, missing out on a lot. It uh, looks like Leona gets taunted here. There may be some action. And yes, she does go down even with the exhaust on her. Uh, Corky not being able to do much, but hopefully he'll be safe himself. Uh, also, so spin score is 1 to 4, already very bad for the purple team. Not in good shape at all. So far, no towers pushed, which is still very good. Some of the, some of the purple team, or some of the blue team starting to get some, uh, some uh, more items, higher level items. You know, whereas, uh, most of the purple team still has just the basic items. It looks like Leona has picked up a Philo stone, which is uh, definitely good. You know, that extra gold per five is nice for a tank, especially because uh, she has to give Corky the majority of her CS. If we, if we stop the uh, front with the camera, we can see nice crit on Vladimir from Gangplank. Even though he has out leveled, he is still easily outlaying Vladimir, pushing him to the tower. Vladimir still only having his amplifying tome. And looks like there was a lag spike. There could possibly no Vladimir is going to troll pull out before he gets I guess slain by the pirates. And with that, Vladimir is headed back to base, allowing Gangplank to either A push the tower or probably go set up for a gank, and it looks like we're going to see some rushing down here. Gangplank ulti on Leona, and Corky doesn't look like Leona's going to escape. Doesn't look like either of them are going to escape. Both going down with everyone's ultis used. It's it's pretty hard to escape a team fight when, when the, everyone else ultis, but uh, well, that was just not a good engagement. Right? Purple team so far having very, very bad engagements. Overall, not not really many uh, good fights. We taken one kill, but even that was a trade-off. So they are obviously we are right now. The purple team right now is obviously outmolded, outleveled. It's just uh, we're, I think we they have more damage on the blue team has more damage on purple's tower. You know we're gonna see if uh, purple's gonna be able to pull this one around, but at this point. It's, it's Fairly weak, especially especially when you have like a fed gangplank. It's it's just not good. Looks like uh, the, the purple team is going to try to turn the tide a little bit by taking a dragon boss, uh, Evan boss. Very very cool. Sounds like be the coolest pet name ever. And he will be going down. Corky looks almost dead. Uh, which wouldn't have been smart if uh, Corky had died to the uh, dra and Ma. Fierce Dragon Emin Ma. Looks like bottom tower probably going to be pushed a little bit, especially if Ramus has his ultimate and could even go down. 
doesn't look like it, and it looks like uh, Leona will be there just in time to uh, scare them off. Well, it looks like uh, Vladimir coming down for a gank. We may see something. Vladimir just starts with lots of damage coming down. The whole team under after placing a nice ulti. Fine with Leona's ulti. We may see several kills. Unfortunately, Vladimir goes down, but that ends up being a double kill for the purple team. It was a decent engagement, <laughs> even in the gangplank ulti. It was a decent engagement. They went out positive. That Evan Ma buff may have turned the tides just a little bit. But gangplank has showed up to defend bottom lane. And gangplank is full health as opposed to the very low health of the rest of the lane. But uh, he will not try anything because 2-1, to one, even if... Uh, even if you are, have superior health advantage, it's just not a good fight. The, the, just the abilities and the utility of the characters that really outshine there. So uh, Vlad heading back top to either push the tower or uh, engage Gangplank for a little bit. We'll see which. So far, no wards being placed by uh, uh, seeing as how Gangplank has I would try to gank bottom about two times now. It, it'd probably be smart for them to start warding up. But, uh, oh, it looks like this is a gank on Vladimir. Bottom has disappeared. A troll pool will make it so he gets out, but a taunt from Ramus will make it so he gets taken down. And that brings the score to three for the purple team and eight for the blue team. Bot lane come, starting to come up when they realize that the lane was gone and now in top, but deciding to stay down there and also back off a little bit. Uh, calling a little bit of a late MIA, probably why there wasn't a, uh, wasn't enough time to escape. Looks like most of their enemy team has to be in that room. We'll see. We'll see what ends up happening here. Looks like Corky will jump out of the way and Leona will juke around. Vladimir staying up top, handle the minion waves. Uh, so far that's uh, they're now at a tower and massive kill disadvantage. There's a follow up, there's the whole team. Gameplay's also getting dropped. Ram is taunting Leona. It looks like Gangplank may possibly go down. No, he will escape along with everybody else. Looks like Vladimir's ghost is down. Corky's jump must be down. Still not able to reach anybody. His rock is missing Ramus and choosing not to tower dive. Looks like Akali. No, looks like Corky may get taken down by the Akali. No, Akali will get taken down. Corky staying alive for the brief moment. It was very close. That's right, Akali. <laughs> uh, looks like uh, we, that will have been an, uh, an even engagement. Uh, with the chase down, we did get one, and they only successfully, or purple team will get one, and they only did kill Leona. Being the tank and being the fact that she's died so many times, she might not be worth that much gold at this point. So it's not as big a setback as it was in the beginning of the game. So the purple team still may have some chance to pull out on top. But things are looking pretty grim as the blue team look is looking really strong. 